Hi everyone, I'm Erin Thrower with the communications team here in Lake County Government, and I'm joined today by Bob Glukert, who serves as the Chief County Assessment Officer for Lake County. Bob, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, good morning, Erin. Thank you for having me. I'm anxious to have the opportunity to turn around and share with the uh, property owners here in Lake County some of the um, services that uh, we offer um, to the folks. Wonderful. From the, from the background. Great. Well, everyone who owns property in Lake County receives some notices from you every year, correct? So tell me a little bit about what your office is responsible here at the county and how it functions. Correct. Well, it actually starts outside of the county building, and that is at the 18 township assessor's offices. Those township assessors are elected, and they turn around and place a value on every parcel in Lake County. Um, those values then come up to the Chief County Assessment Office and I take a look at them in terms of what the Illinois Property Tax Code requires and that is that every assessment be um, at 33 and a third percent of market value. So we hear a lot of talk about um, factors being placed on assessments before they're actually published and sent out to individuals. And those factors are basically um, our way of complying with Illinois property tax code and uh, setting those values to 33 and a third percent. So in some instances, you might see that the assessor's numbers that are turned in are lower than 33 and a third, and I might be applying a positive factor to bring those up to 33 and a third. And in some instances, they're over 33 and a third as a total group and I turn around and apply a factor over the entire township to bring those values down to 33 and a third. Once the assessments have been equalized, I turn around and send a notice out to every property owner in Lake County. Uh, it's officially known as the blue letter. I think folks are used to receiving that. And that blue notice basically turns around and tells you what your proposed assessment is for the uh, upcoming upcoming tax year. The tax code also turns around, I spend a lot of time following the tax code, quite honestly. So the tax code turns around and tells me that I need to publish those in a generally circulated newspaper. Um, in addition, Lake County mails a notice out to every property owner. And in that notice is a 30-day, offers every taxpayer a 30-day window to turn around and appeal their assessment Okay. Um, well, and that code is, is there are several reasons why you would appeal your assessment. Okay. I was going to say the tax code is no um, easy task to interpret, I'm sure. And I know that people sometimes get nervous when they see that blue letter, when they, when they get that notice from you. And everybody's always hoping, obviously, for the lowest bill possible. But you talked about the appeal process that is available um, and people recently had a chance to appeal their, their bills. Now, what are some reasons a resident would do that besides it's just being that they think it's too high? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one, what if, if a property, for example, is there are five different reasons that the Board of Review accepts an appeal. The first reason is on a factual error. So when you receive your blue letter, there's a value on that, but there's also some property characteristics that, and exemptions on the property that um, the uh, homeowner can turn around and review. So if, for example, um, the assessor believes your home is a thousand square feet, and in essence, your house is only 900 and square feet, that's one of the characteristics that you might turn around and uh, contest and ask to have um, taken a look at. The second most common thing that we see in terms of appeals if a property has recently been sold. So the Board of Review, uh, you know, um, will look at a uh, sale and if it's been a valid sale and by a valid sale, it's been out on the open market, um, that anybody could have come and turned around and purchased that sale. We typically will bring those values down to what the purchase price actually is. So an appeal, if your assessment is higher than what your actual purchase price would be, um, your odds are pretty good at successfully achieving um, a positive result on appeal versus, versus a uh, sale of subject property. The other reason that you could appeal was if you looked at your neighborhood and you had five homes that you considered to be identical, 
and those five homes um, have recently sold at a substantially lower dollar than what your proposed assessment would be. The Lake County um, gives you the opportunity to grid those out on our system, um, all electronic filing now, and we would turn around and you would, you would put those home addresses in there. The system will automatically populate all of the data that you need and generate a grid sheet for an appeal. Um, a, a less more common uh, approach would be if you feel that your house isn't equitably assessed in relationship to other homes in your assessment neighborhood, but that's also an option for you. And then finally, there's a matter of law. So if, if there was something that was affecting your property or some legal issue uh, that affects the value, you have the opportunity to appeal that as well. It's a narrow window. This, again, we follow the tax code. There's only 30 days for a property owner to appeal from basically the date on the notice of the letter. Um, all of the uh, uh, appeals are filed electronically with the Board of Review now. And that's particularly important and um, a, a good thing that the residents of Lake County have because um, everything now is, is, is online. You don't need to go face to face with, with anyone. We always recommend that if you feel that there's a problem with your assessment, that the first place you should stop or visit with is um, your elected uh, township assessor. Um, they're usually the first line to talk to, but if you can't reach a resolution with that assessor, then I'd encourage you to turn around and file with the Board of Review. The Board of Review tries basically to act as an unbiased intermediary between the property tax owner, uh, the property owner and the assessor to try and come up with some value that they believe. It's a third set of eyes, unbiased, that tries to get that number as accurate as possible. Aaron, you wanna make, it's important for people to review that blue notice every year. That's your good. tax bill and admittedly taxes are high in Lake County mm -hmm. are based on um, the market value of your home. So it's important to keep watching to make sure that that market value that's being proposed is within range of what you believe your home would sell for if you put it on the market today. Mm -hmm. And if it's not, um, you know, you should look to appeal. Okay, so very important, 30 days from when you get that blue letter. So be paying close attention to the plot there, but there is an appeal process in place for many different reasons and people can go and check that out online certainly and, and how they do that and the steps that are required. But you said again, everything's electronic now, of course, um, and border review is actually gone virtual. So tell me, how is your team managing that process? What, what can residents expect when they, when they do that now? So that's kind of an exciting, uh, exciting new feature that we've offered this year. Historically, there were three ways to, once you've appealed your process, there were three avenues to follow. One was to file a letter hearing with the Board of Review in which neither the assessor nor the property owner show up. It's just two board members sitting, reviewing the data that's been submitted by both parties and ultimately making a decision. The second way historically was to call by phone um, you would receive a scheduled time once you filed your hearing and a scheduled date. You would call in at that specific time. Each hearing lasts 15 minutes. Um, and then um, finally, there was in-person hearings. But because of the COVID situation this year and trying to protect not only the public, but also the folks that work for me here um, on the seventh floor of the county building, We've introduced the Zoom platform, very similar to the way the courts started back out with, with the Zoom uh, when, they re, when they resumed their schedule. Um, you, can, um, you can still call in. Um, so you, if you're not familiar with a computer, you don't have a computer, or you don't know anything about Zoom, you can still, there's a phone number that you can call and you're using your regular house phone and call in. But if you'd like to take a look in, I always like to look in someone's eyes and, um, and see who I'm talking to. Yeah. And uh, the Zoom option gives you the video availability if you have a computer available to turn around and actually have um, a conversation as close to being in a room in today's environment that we can provide. 
Exactly. Well, thank you for you and your team for being flexible and coming up with that solution to keep everybody on both sides safe. So important. Um, and really thank you uh, for being there. That's the most important thing. Your office is there to help people to get them through this process so they can understand, again, the tax code and, and all the laws behind it. it can be a complicated thing. And as you mentioned, taxes are high in Illinois overall. <laughs> Property taxes can be high. So the fact that there's a process in, in place is, is very reassuring. And so thank you um, for the work that you're doing you know, yeah. to help us through that process. I'd also like to point I'd like also like to point out one other area that this 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 office works on, and um, we administer all the exemptions on a property as well. So every homeowner that um, uses their house as their primary residence is, is entitled to a homestead exemption. But beyond the standard homestead exemption, which reduces the assessable value of your property, there's also a senior exemption. There's also a senior freeze. There's a veteran's exemption, a disabled person's exemption. Um, there are numerous preferential assessments, something as basic as a farm assessment on, on, uh, on a small farmette that you might own to, um, to an assessment for open space, for uh, protected wild, uh, uh, natural space. Um, and our office is a, is a great um, outlet for, um, for folks to come to to learn more about it. I'd encourage everybody to look online. All of these programs are out there on their website at assessor.lakecountyil.gov and um, take a look at the programs out there. And if you have any questions, um, we've got staff here that can answer any questions that you might have. Wonderful, thank you. I know the Homestead and Senior are big and popular, but my goodness, so many other ones that are available. So check that out for sure. Well, Bob, thank you so much for being with us today, and we'll check back Correct. in with you throughout the year um, to get important reminders from your office. And thanks for watching at home. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you real soon.